Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm It's Bread Time. We're just going to do uh, a short video here. I haven't decided what to call this. I guess we'll just call it a Let's Play. Uh, we're going to play some of Fortnite's new Battle Royale mode for you. Uh, I played it for about an hour and a half on stream the other day, twitch.tv slash grenades and goblins. And uh, I thought it was fun. It offers something different to PUBG and obviously H1Z1 and it's the first probably of a lot of clones that we'll be seeing in the upcoming months of, of all these games that think they can do Battle Royale. Like, I guarantee we'll see a Call of Duty version of Battle Royale one of these days. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going to hop in and we're just going to um, get some impressions and show you what this is about. Now, what I think is going to be cool about Fortnite Battle Royale is that they actually brought in the building aspects to the Battle Royale mode. Uh, this is the this is while we're waiting to get launched. But once you get in, we'll be able to break down walls and uh, check under floors for basements and go into attics and look for for hidden chests. Like there are chests in this to find you know better weapons. Uh, there are also weapons just hidden. Out in plain sight. I, I kind of like that they're just weapons out, out on the ground sometimes as well. Like you don't have to find them in a building. Uh, the map's pretty large, but it's not so restricting as to make it so you're not going to be able to run to the safe zone if you absolutely need to. I haven't played around in the, the storm yet, which is what shrinks the area, the playable area so to speak. In H1Z1, it's a fog. In PUBG, it's like this force field. In this, it's the storm that's in the base game. Uh, so we'll see. Three seconds. We're in the party bus. And I like I like how much smoother uh, this game is. Uh, this game seems to be a little more well-optimized than PUBG is. The transition just from that loading screen to here can be very painful for PUBG. And the parachute can be painful as well. I also like that they have tra if there are trails behind the enemies that are going down. You can actually kind of visualize where people are going if you want to wait to drop. We're going to wait to drop a little bit. I think we'll aim over this way. Here's the map, by the way. We're gonna, we'll, we'll go all the way to the flush factory. Flush factory. Last stop, coming up. Oh, sh oh my god, I almost... I th Oh, that's cool. So you can actually deploy your glider and then stop it. That's cool. You can't do that with a, with a parachute. Today I learned. Oh man, there's already a lot of people here. See, I don't like how inefficient the dropping is. Oh shit, the, the guy just dropped right there, didn't he? Right, we're gonna try. Like, it's harder to, you can't really drop straight down. All right, so just like that, boom, I'm in. Here's a gun on the ground, semi auto shotgun. Shotguns, uh, from when I played the other day, were uber powerful. Uh, something that's really cool too, as soon as you get a weapon, it's just it's just automatically loaded. So this is obviously going to be a little bit more arcadey. See, there's a chest actually. This is great. This is a great find for the. Oh fuck. Oh. Wow, there are two guys in there, and they weren't. They might have been teamed up together. All right, well, that's us. That's all she wrote for this round. But just like that, you can escape, just like in PUBG, and hop back into the queue again. So we're gonna do that. 
Uh, as far as the UI goes, it's pretty bare bones right now. This is still public test. I think the official release, this is, I'm playing this on the 17th of September, it is the 26th. So in about 10 days, we'll see if they add more to it, which I'm anticipating. But yeah, all we have is a lobby right now. Uh, we, you can expect squads to come out. I think it said in that text over there that they're going to add squads. Uh, and when they do that, maybe we'll come out with another video. Doing some stuff with G&G, &G, playing squads in Fortnite. Um, I know a lot of the people in our community here at G&G &G love PUBG. Love, love, love PUBG. So I think this actually offers a, a unique alternative that's a little different from PUBG, but still really fun. Yeah, we're gonna try and drop right here at the city. What city is this one going down to? Fatal Fields. Oh, it's not a city. I think this is like a farm. Yeah, it's a farm. Some might say a field. Looks like there's a quarry over there I've actually never seen before. I did not know that was a thing. Maybe we'll go explore that. So like I said, my experience with this game, you're going to have to forgive my potato aim. Because <laughs> I'm still not at, like... Long range is weird in this game. I think it actually... This game actually favors... Uh, close encounters. Uh oh, I hear... I hear some stuff. Yeah, chest. You can hear the chest, which is nice. Bandages. I haven't seen any backpacks in this game. It seems like what you have is just kind of what you have. All right, so here we'll build a little bit real quick. See that chest up there? Want to get to the chest? Boom. So what I was saying about long range battles is it's almost like they shouldn't matter as much because you can just build a wall behind you and run to like escape if you need to. Got some skirmishing going on over here. See if the, the zone isn't up yet. So far, what I've noticed too from the sound, you can hear people from kind of far away. You can crawl. Oh, and there are traps in this. So, uh, I think squads are going to be super interesting because I almost wonder if like some teams will try and get weapons and farm and then build a house. Or, like, build a base or something, you know? I know he's over here. What? Oh my god. See? That's what I'm talking about, the shotguns. Shotguns are so good. He baited me with that too. That that was that was very smart. Yeah, so don't expect any top one finishes in this this quick look here. <laughs> one more trip in the party bus. Wonder how many times in this video I'm gonna die. <laughs> Because I want to be, I want it to be, a, you know, decent look so you guys can see a little bit about this game. But I also want to die 40 times in one video over 20 minutes. Yeah, I just, I've just got to accept it. That's probably what's going to happen. Alright, we're going to aim for these military containers down here. I've been playing Counter-Strike all day. So my, my shooting isn't probably where it should be. See, how's like it? Why are there so many people here? We gotta get out of here. We're bailing. Shit. I don't know what I 
I just did. A lot of gunfire back from once I came. Looks like there's some ammunition up here. Hopefully there's a gun to go with said ammunition. Get bandages in case we get shot. Let's see if we can hit all of this. Alright, we got a rifle. But we got one clip. Oh, potatoes here! Oops. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> that was an accident. That was an accident. Alright, let's see if there's anything under this ground. Nothing. Whoa, what is that and why is it up in the air? Gotta love early access, team. Mine. Alright. So for example, what I was talking about earlier, someone shooting behind me, I could literally... Oh, that's not the type of wall I want to build. Yeah. I build a wall behind me. Once I get better with these controls. And keep running. Alright, so we're in the circle. I also think they could be faster. Since they have all these building tools built into Fortnite, I could see them adding maps at a faster clip or even including like community built maps which could really really uh increase the longevity of the game or at least keep it interesting for longer for a lot of people because i you know <laughs> i know the nature of people who play games Someone's around here. Uh oh, daybreak. Alright, that guy went off that way. He's at the hut where we killed that other dude. Definitely still need more ammo. As we get caught in the open, we only have 28 rounds. We're just done so. How many are left? Looks like there are about 48 people left. Doors open back here. Hmm. All right, everyone's still spread out. See, I want to see what's up top here. So we're gonna build these stairs up and we shall find out and I've seen people use this in really interesting ways for combat too to like flank someone Let's see if there's any ammo up here oh that's the edge of a roof see him he's inside the 
Just let him know we're there. Just like that, a chest. Oh, I just got shot from behind. Alright, we're gonna... Oops, we're gonna turtle for a second. Put a med kit on. Ten seconds is a long time for a med kit. Switch this out. All right. Now I've got some good stuff. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna stay the kings of this town for a little bit. I hope no one arrives and just farm some metal stuff for the end of the game. There's for sure someone else in here, I think. I hear him. Got him. A nice new submachine gun out of that. See what I'm saying about the shotguns though? That put them down real quick. Okay. Now the zone's moved. Oh, we've got a ways to go. Minute and 39 to move. There was a guy up there. He saw me. I can hear a chest again. We're gonna try and just keep moving now. If we can keep it in range, we can put up a wall. We've got enough mats now. There he is, he's over there. All right. I also really like how colorful this game is. Not that PUBG or H1 aren't colorful games. H1 is certainly a colorful game with some of the skins and stuff you can use. Um, but I don't know, the art style really, really suits this game well. You know, there's no real lore reason why everyone would be dropping on this island killing each other, but... This really isn't about lore, is it?
What? <laughs> well, I guess that grenade didn't do much, or I guess grenades do a lot of damage even through metal walls. But now we've learned. Also, the way it, just the overall attitude that this game takes, it makes it harder for me to be mad when I get killed. I guess I haven't played it enough to feel competitive or get salty. Like, how can you be mad at that? I certainly can't, but as soon as someone emotes me when they've killed me, I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, looks like we're gonna be... where are we approaching from? Okay. Well, maybe we'll, we'll try and drop instantly and go over towards Fatal Fields again. I like that you can glide and then unglide if you're so pleased. We're gonna see how far this will take me. I wonder if we'll ma we can make it all the way to the Fatal Fields. It looks like we can. Oh, that's your inventory. Alts your inventory. So you can carry five things in your backpack. I haven't seen anything to indicate that you can get more than five slots for your backpack. Oh my god, a guy made it there. What the hell? Alright, it's a 1v1 in Fatal Fields. Oh, nope, he's dropping off. Maybe we can go check out the quarry while we're here. Doesn't look like there's anything down there though. Maybe there's a chest down in there. Oh wait, there's there is a weapon down there. Yeah, we'll land on this roof. See, and the landings are real smooth. Boop. Um, general rule of thumb in these games, if there's gonna be like a chest or something, it's either in the basement or the attic. Just like that. And it seems they're pretty generous with the amount of chest. Like I haven't been playing this game, like if you drop out in the middle of nowhere, sure you're going to be hurting for a gun, but if you drop in one of the areas, you're really not. Really, really not. Knock, knock. Those blue spots, hot tip for those of you who've never played Fortnite before, if you hit them, they're like crit spots for the walls and the floors. So if you do that, uh, you're, you'll break down whatever you're hitting faster. Ooh, purple. Shiny. Oh, man. Looks like we just got pretty nice shotgun. Uh, the white gear being the least rare, and then green, blue, and then purple, and then orange. I think being the rarest. Making sure there isn't a basement in this house. You never know. So... We learned last game that explosives are very strong. Is that an assault rifle? We already have one. Take the ammo though. Take ammo for this. I want the ammo. I don't like how that's layered. I can't really Look at stuff on the ground, can you? Or... All right, so that that's something that definitely needs to get fixed. All right, ammo boxes you can find ammo in. Obviously, it doesn't seem like there's a limit to the amount of ammo you can carry either. As far as this game runs, you can see my counter. It's very small. I'm running at like 40, 45 frames a second right now, which isn't obviously ideal but I think some of that's to do with me running a stream or recording as we speak but still you would expect better and this being early access I know it'll
it'll get better with time. Crap. <laughs> and I just realized my background shows a little bit. Whatever. What are you going to do, guys? So, anyway. As you can see, this game is early access. This is Fortnite uh, Battle Royale. When squads come out, if you can see right here, it says PS squads are coming until then. No team up with friends. It's cheating and a bannable offense. But people are doing it anyway. So be careful. If you do have Fortnite already, uh, this mode is available to you. If you don't, I believe right now to early access buy in, I think it's $30. I think they gave it a 25% decrease in price recently, just for a little while. I don't know. Uh, but for the future, it will be free to play. So keep that in mind um, that it will be free to play. So if you're having some FOMO, fear of missing out, maybe if you just wait a little while, you'll have a chance to hop it yourself. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Uh, of course, subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Grenades and Goblins. You can follow me on Twitter at It's Bread Time. And uh, follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Grenades and Goblins. Make sure you check out the rest of our channel. If you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. Bang that like button. Whatever. I don't know what YouTubers say these, day, these days. I don't know. Until next time, I've been your host. It's Bread Time. And we'll see you next time.